Hey guys, I am checking in from the Great Bend Farm and Ranch Hemp Expo. We've had a busy day today. We got to actually do some speaking and it was like a hemp chat. Um, but we have, this is the second show that we've ran into this company called the Hemp Building Company. So I am with Phelan and he is going to tell you a little bit about what they're doing in the hemp industry and their role. They're basically at the point where they're taking the raw materials that we have from the fiber processing facility and utilizing that out into, uh, you know, real world construction and things like that. So I will let him do some talking. Check this out. If you have any questions, drop them below. Hey guys, we're a hemp building company. We're here at the Great Bend Farm Ranch and Hemp Expo. We got um, hemp creep products here and hemp building materials. Um, this is one of our blocks here. It's a tongue and groove design. Um, it's made from... What does that mean? What's tongue and groove mean? Tongue and groove means that there's a, a lip here that fits into this groove on okay. the bottom. And a lip here that fits into this groove on the back. So it uh, fits in... So it's like a large Lego kit, basically. Okay. This is made from hemp creek, which is a uh, hemp uh, mineral binder using it in water. And uh, in water. This is the current material that we use. And you guys see that? We've showed you that on our facility. This is kind of the size. This would be our smaller size that we've got. So, anyway, keep going. Yeah. <laughs> um, so we have this, this part of the design. Manufacture these, these panels here. Um, hemp creep has a dry cure time of about four to six weeks for the crop to dry in here and set. So if they're new, because I've got a lot of newbies mm. and not any really people in the construction industry, what does it mean to cure? Um, well, for it to dry, because it's a wet product uh, when you make it, so it takes about like a week to, to properly dry, and, uh, and then you can really handle it. Like this, we made about a week and a half ago. Yeah. We made this in no time. Okay. Um, and yeah, I mean, as you can see, you can handle it. It's lightweight, low density. Um, but for it to properly carbonize, which means it absorbs carbon as it dries and uh, gets stronger. Um, so as it dries on the carbonates, we get stronger and then we, we can put plastic on Okay. Yeah. Cool. It takes about four to six weeks, which is a pretty long time. So um, we prefabricate these materials so that we can take them to the build site. So tell me about your setup over here and what, what you got going on here. Yeah. This is a cross-section corner um, comparison of a traditional build, traditional wall build. Um, it's a vapor barrier, gypsum board, drywall mud, paint primer, um, fiberglass insulation. And then on this side, you've got your weather tech, uh, you've got your OSB, you've got your siding. So this is your traditional home here. Yeah, essentially. And there's, there's about 12 components that goes into a, a traditional build, all of which end up in a landfill and they be constructed or uh, You can see right here. That's a traditional stick build wall. You can see what they're made out of. Um, they're, they're made out of petroleum-based products, and volatile chemicals that off-gas in your home. And then over here, we have the hemp panel system, which is made from uh, post-fusion framing. And then two panels on the inside and the outside, and a hemp line render um, on the inside and the outside. And, uh, our, our buddies from Hemp Protect here make this product. This is uh, hemp insulation. So this wall is about an R30. Um, we wouldn't necessarily need an R30 for a wall, but uh, we can make these panels there. Um, there's seven components that go into this wall, and they're all biodegradable or recyclable. We can take this panel off and break it up, reuse it, or you can even use it as fertilizer in the field. Very cool. Um, it's 
vapor permeable, so it allows the walls to breathe and the moisture to pass through the walls. Um, it regulates, that allows it to regulate temperature and humidity within your dwelling. So, pretty sweet product. Okay, let's show me this block. This is just kind of a, a proof of concept block. Um, we're not actually manufacturing this one or producing it. Um, it's 16 inch center framing. Um, it's 32 inches long. In the bottom here, you can see that there's little recesses for the top to go over the bottom. We'll stagger this. Um, hempcrete is not considered a structural material, so it does require framing. Um, but we're playing around with different concepts that might allow it to be a structural block. Cool. Anything else you want to add? Um, we also use the same, same product for hemp bedding, which is a highly absorbent material. Five times more absorbent than the shape is. Hypoallergenics, dust free, um, naturally antimicrobial. Cool. And, uh, All right. Thank you. Check us out at hempbuildingcompany.com. All right, guys, if you have any questions, you guys know the drill, drop them below and I will connect you with Phelan. So if you want to come out to the Great Bend Farm and Ranch Expo, we are open till seven o'clock tonight and then tomorrow from nine to four, you can check them out there in building number two. And then you can come on down, check us out as well. We've got our processing facility information there as well as our CBD products. And as always, thank you, like, share, and we appreciate you jumping on. See ya.